Hello, everyone, and welcome to One Man Stream. In today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to take a sneak peek into what we have upcoming in the next several tutorials. And you'll see in just a moment that all the information is going to change. And we're doing that by just changing two buttons. And uh, right here, you can see the visiting team and the home team. All we're doing is over to the right of those columns, we're using those drop down menus. And by clicking uh, or by changing the teams in those drop down menus, we're changing all the assets and all of our graphics in this complete layout. And that's what this tutorial series is going to show you. So you can see right here that not only uh, does it change the information um, in this graphic, but it also brings in different assets associated with that team. And if you look down here under the scoreboard, you can see right here where it says Oldham County. Well, above it, it says Oldham County and County spelled out. But since we have limited area on the scoreboard, it uh, says Oldham CO. Same thing for South Oldham. We have limited area on the scoreboard, so this just says S Oldham. And this is accomplished by setting up a group of information for each individual team. And as we go along in this tutorial series, we'll show you how to do that as well. This and this is what we're going to be putting in the most time on is this setting up this Excel spreadsheet right here. So we have a whole lot of information coming to you in this upcoming series. Okay, and this is where we're going to spend the majority of our time today uh, on this Excel spreadsheet. And if you look up here, uh, where I'm pointing, uh, you can see the visiting team and the home team. And just by hitting this drop down box here at the end of the row, you can see all of these different teams. And how I set this up was I went to uh, the website, the Kentucky uh, High School Athletic Association website, and I just copied the list of all the teams uh, that they had there. And that's how I, that's how I did that. And I'll show you in just a moment. Um, there's actually a, a tab just for teams. And you'll be able to see that just by clicking, I'm going to click Mail High School right here. And when I do, you'll see that all this information changes. Now, the visiting team name is Mail. The abbreviation that we use on the scoreboard, like I alluded to a moment ago, it's a smaller area, so we have an abbreviated name. This is the uh, team name and mascot, and then this is just the mascot. And then here is how we bring in that logo that we use for all of our graphics. Uh, this is where we get the uh, color background that we use for each of the teams on the scoreboard. And this one is a blue, violet, or purple. And then this is the hexadecimal colors. This is actually what's pulled in uh, to vMix in order to make those color changes. Now the next part here is the home team. And we're going to change the home team as well. So we're going to change this one to North Odom. So then we're going to go up here and we're going to click Save. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit on that top line. And you can see now where all the North Odom assets are brought in. We have a team name, which is North Odom. We have the team name with mascot, North Odom Mustangs. We have the smaller name for the scoreboard, North. And then we have Mustangs uh, for the mascot name. And I have it broken out in this way because on different graphics, I need different pieces of information. And then we have the mascot for North Odom. Then we have their team color, the hexadecimal color. Right here where it says visiting team record, home team record, it comes up zero. And that's because I don't have anything put in there. But I can put something in there uh, very quickly for these two. Let's make one of them. 22 and 2 and let's make the other one 24 and 1 and you can see where that information automatically changed uh, most outstanding player sponsor logo uh, we have a lot of different logos that we use for the different segments within this particular format and you'll see these all up along the top uh, scoreboard design uh, we also have the play-by-play -play announcer. These are also drop-down menus, uh, sponsor images, and a lot of other inf information along this top row. And the reason that I have it all strung out on this top row is because when we go to mapping later on, this is the information that I'm using to map from. Okay, so you'll also see some other fields on here. You have one that's for weather. Uh, during football, we have a weather forecast that we bring in and that is uh, sponsored by a particular uh, local business. 
So we'd have, you know, what the weather conditions are, partly cloudy, whether there's a chance of rain, windy, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, then this right here is a local scoreboard. This actually populates two different graphics. It populates a ticker that I use uh, underneath the main scoreboard, and it also populates another graphic, a scoreboard graphic, uh, that we have through another sponsor. This next part here is upcoming uh, broad, uh, broadcast. We show this at the very end of the uh, production. And then this right here is where we populate our most outstanding player graphic. Now we're gonna go to this one here that says data source for overlays. And this is where I bring in all the particular information uh, for all the graphics we use at the beginning of the game. Uh, we have several graphics that we use. The first graphic that we use is for uh, the visiting team coach. We'll have an interview, and while that interview, that audio interview is rolling, I'm going through several graphics here. Uh, I normally have a couple graphics about the coach and his history with the school. Uh, then I have what the uh, team's current record is. It's normally right here. Uh, who they played their last game, what kind of point differential they have. And then I have a couple graphics here uh, for the, the key players for each team. Our keys to the game, I put the information in here and it's populated on that graphic. Uh, then we go to another break and we come back with the home team, uh, what I call the home team package. And we have an audio interview with the home team coach. And then I do the same thing with the home team coach. I'll have uh, some information about his coaching background, his record, how long he's been uh, with this particular school, where he may have been, uh, been at before. Then we'll go to how they're doing this season, how they're doing in their district, how they're doing in their region. Um, also, some information uh, that we use is postseason information. And then we have key players. We have uh, two graphics for our key players for our home team. And then we have a series history uh, graphic that we use as well. And you can see that's probably close to 15, 18, 20 different gra graphics we would have to make. And we don't have to do that because I'm just using one graphic and I'm populating all that information uh, through this Excel spreadsheet. The next thing is the teams. If I go all the way over here to the end, what I did is when I went to that KHSAA website, I copied the information in here and it brought in every team that's within the Kentucky High School Athletic Association. Uh, you can see right here where these are blue. The cool thing about it is uh, if I click on this, it's going to take me uh, to their website and it's going to pull up their logo so I can save this logo and then use it into my graphics. So you can see the setup for each indiv individual team. I have their team name, team name mascot, team name short, this is actually what we use for the scoreboard, mascot name, and then we have the logo uh, for the team. And you can see that this is a drop down menu as well. And we have all these logos in here and I'll show you where that comes from in just a moment. Uh, then we have the team color, that is also a drop down menu and I'll show you where that comes from. We use VLOOKUP so that when we select a color, it automatically brings in the hexadecimal color, and that hexadecimal color is pulled in uh, to VMIX. I'll keep scrolling over. We have a football coach's image, a basketball coach's image, then we have a basketball coach's name, football coach's name, and all that information is automatically pulled in uh, to the graphic. And you can see, I only put the information in as I do the teams. Uh, so these are all the teams that I did during this basketball season. And then next year, these will be ready to go. And when we have new teams, I will um, put this information in for each team. You can see it probably takes me maybe three minutes to put the information in for each team. Uh, but then I have it. All I have to do is go to that drop down menu for visiting and home team. Click that drop down menu, select the team and boom, I have all this information in my graphics. It's a huge time saver. Right here where you saw uh, the drop down for the mascot image, that comes from the school logo right here. And I'll show you how using uh, data validation, we create those drop down menus. Uh, these are all the schools that I've used so far uh, with their images. And you'll see these are all the different sponsor images that we use throughout the setup. Scoreboard sponsor, key to the game sponsor, ticker sponsor. These are drop down menus as well. And these are also being uh, populated by the uh, uh, by another tab which is our sponsors tab and I'll sh we haven't got to that I'll show you that in just a moment 
This right here is what I use for the visiting team and the home team. And this is how I uh, populate those graphics. You'll see up here at the top where it says player one name, player one number, uh, player one position, then player two name, player two number, player two position. If you watch the um, tutorial that we did on creating our basketball starting lineup, it goes through this step by step and it shows you exactly how this was done. Uh, for this particular team, this is the uh, all the players on this roster. And if I go to this right here, you can see a drop down menu and this is how we're going to populate the starting lineup. So I'm just going to go and select the first five players. You can see as I select it, the other information is changing as well. And that is due to VLOOKUP. And we're going to show you how we do that in our part three of this series, I do believe. Oops, we got here in there twice. And there you go. And you can see how this information up here changed as I was choosing uh, the starting lineup. Uh, the next thing is home team, the exact same thing. These are our play -by -play, some of our play-by-play -play, uh, personnel that we use. Uh, this is also in a drop-down menu that you saw on the main production right here. And that's where this information comes from. It comes from these play-by-play -play names. The next is a color analyst. It's a list of the color analysts that we use. And uh, same thing on the main production right here where it says analyst. You can see we have a drop down menu here and it allows us to select our analysts uh, to populate that graphic. Next we have our sponsors. And this is what we used under the scoreboard names. This is where all those sponsors are brought in. And what we do is we use the data validation with, uh, within Excel. Uh, we form some lists, and those lists allow us to just uh, use the drop-down uh, button and select the individual sponsor for that individual graphic. The next tab that we have is for the football coaches images. And you can see uh, we just have a few of them. Oh, no, we don't we have a whole bunch of them. This right here is the basketball coaches uh, that we used during our district and regional tournament. This next thing right here is the hexadecimal colors. And what I did is I just uh, did a Google search for hexadecimal colors. And then I went and I copied it, brought it in here and pasted it. And then I actually brought in the name of the color along with uh, the hexadecimal code. And sometimes I go in here and when we have a, a I have a team that's kind of teal and I really didn't have a teal so I was glad I brought in the colors with it so that I could come over here and select medium sea green and that gave me the color that I wanted when I was wanting teal. Okay, that will conclude our tutorial today. Like I said, it's going to be a five-part tutorial series. Today was the overview. The next one that we do, I hope I can bring it out next week. It's going to be constructing the Excel spreadsheets. I'll show you how we do that. And then we're going to be uh, in part three, creating lists and utilizing VLOOKUP. Part four, we're going to map the individual graphics. And then part five, I'm going to give you an example of a game day setup, how I will use this and how I will set it up uh, for a particular game. So I hope you enjoy this series. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. If you get a moment, please stop by our website, onemanstream.com. That's where we have a lot of the graphics that we've built throughout this tutorial series, along with many of the vMix UTC setups as well. And as always, thank you so much.